Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Outtech Reviews. I decided to start a new how-to series to explain some of the tricks and techniques I use to solve problems in my reviews. In the first video, we'll talk about modifying the NVIDIA driver software. This was actually a part of the NVIDIA Tesla P10 video, but that video was way too long, so I decided to make the cut and put this as a separate video. Okay, first of all, why would you need to modify the NVIDIA driver? There are many three reasons. One, you find NVIDIA driver software will not install your laptop after you upgrade your video card, which is related to a VBIOS issue. Two, you want to use your mining card like GP104 or maybe GP102 for gaming, but these cards have no video output and will not work with a regular NVIDIA driver. And lastly, which is a very uncommon solution, to install driver on a video card NVIDIA never released. But whatever your case may be, if you search for this, then you probably desperately need to find a solution to have your NVIDIA driver installed. So here we go. First, let's download the latest driver software from NVIDIA's website, which in today's case, will download the driver software for Tesla P40. Although technically, all GeForce or Quadro drivers would support all modern GPUs accordingly, but I still recommend choosing the specific GPU you have, or at least the closest one. Like in this case, although the Tesla P10 was never released and not in the list, but since it has a GP102 GPU, which is the same as a Tesla P40, so I will choose Tesla P40 here and hit download. Now we have the driver downloaded. Let's double click the driver and it will extract all its files to your local hard drive and the installation will start automatically. But obviously, if that's your case, then you wouldn't be watching this video. Um, in this case here, our NVIDIA installer says there's no compatible device and the installation will be canceled. So um, what do we do? First, let's click on installer again and locate the folder it's extracting files to because the NVIDIA installer will delete all the extracted files after it detects there's no compatible hardware in a system. So we have to be quick here. Copy and paste all the files to another folder before NVIDIA driver installer realize what we're trying to do. Okay, next let's go to the files we just copied. Let's go to uh, display.driver folder and search for all INF files. And we can double click on the INF file and scroll down to the very bottom. So here you will see something like this. This represents what GPU this specific INF file is for. Go through the files and find the INF file that contains your GPU. Um, there is a shortcut for laptop GPU upgrades because apart from choosing the right GPU, you have to choose the right manufacturer. I included the list of um, which files for what manufacturer in the video description. That will save you some time and effort. So here in our case, the INF file we needed is in mvdispwi.inf. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Under strings, there's a list of video cards supported by this driver. Um, that is what NVIDIA installer uses to determine if your GPU is supported by the driver software. On the left is your hardware ID. If NVIDIA installer cannot find a match, then it will quit and say no compatible hardware found. So uh, here what we need to do is pretty simple. To uh, replace a corresponding hardware ID to what we have installed in a system. Now to find out the hardware ID for a video card, you want to press the start menu, type in search for device manager, and under display adapters, right click on your graphic card and select properties. Let's navigate to the details tab. And under the drop down list, let's hit hardware ID. Okay, so we right click the second line here and select copy. Now we have what we need to modify the INF file. Let's go back to the file and let's use the line for Tesla P40. You can use any line of your choice, but usually it will be just easier to use the line according to your specific GPU. But this is just for convenience. 
what line you choose will have no effect on the success of the modification. You can even add a line if you want. Again, here we're using a line for the Tesla P40. So here is how Nvidia described their GPU to the operating system. It consists of three parts. The first part refers to the GPU, and the second part refers to the GPU variant, and the last part refers to the specific OEM vendor of the card. Here we can see they're all 10DE, which refers to Nvidia themselves. It is because all Nvidia Quadro and Tesla cards are made by Nvidia themselves these days. You'll see something different here if you're using maybe an ASUS or EVGA card. Now what we need to do is to replace these numbers with what we just copied from the device manager. In this case, it will be 1B391217. And for the name on the right, you can change it to anything you like. And it will show up in device manager or system property as whatever you name it. In this case, let's name it for RTX 3090 just for fun. But uh, if you're watching this, I think you should know that this does not actually make the card a RTX 3090 by 2 and it does not change the performance of this card. And that's exactly the trick many shady sellers on Wish.com are using to sell you maybe a RTX 2080 for $200. After we're done with this part, there are some more steps you need to follow. Let's press Ctrl F and search for the string of the Tesla P40. And then we need to replace every line with what we just copied from device manager. And let's press save and then close the INF file. So up to this point, we're done with the driver modification. But hang on there, your driver is not ready to be installed yet. If we try to install the driver now, yes, it will pass the compatibility check and proceed. However, it's gonna give you an error and the installer will still quit. This is because all drivers nowadays comes with something called digital driver signature. Since we have modified the driver, so the signature is no longer intact. And that's why Windows refused to install it and gives us an error. But don't worry, we can fix this. What we need to do is to click on the start menu and type in search for PowerShell. Right click it and run as administrator. Then let's type bcd edit slash set test signing space on. This will enable test mode. All we need to do is to restart our PC and our Windows should be in test mode. Now we have restarted and on the lower right corner you can see it says test mode. And now let's try to install the driver again. Okay, this time the driver installed without any problem. But don't forget to turn the test mode off after we install the driver. Um, to do so, again, we type and search for PowerShell, but this time we're going to do bcd edit slash set test signing off. And then let's restart the computer and check if the driver is installed properly. So um, let's check under device manager. And now we can see that the video card is ready to go. And it did show up as the RTX 3090 by 2 But of course, this is just a joke. There's no RTX 3090 by 2 out there, at least not at the moment, and I hope there will never be. If there's an RTX 3090 by 2 I bet it's gonna cost at least 5 grand with all the scalpers out there. And you probably need a compressor to keep it from catching fire, and probably a generator to provide a power to it. If you have any questions, you can comment below to let me know. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. You can also support us by clicking on the links below. We'll get a small commission from Amazon to recoup some of our costs. Thanks for watching.